Here we are with head coach, University of the Ozarks, Leroy Gardner the third. Leroy, growing up in Minnesota, wrestling at Warford, what's it like being in the South with a team of kids that are all from Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Missouri? Um, well, I think, you know, one of the, the, the great things about it and the reason why I'm down there is, you know, growing up I saw how, how passionate Minnesota and Iowa and the Midwest is about wrestling, and uh, that sort of gets in your blood, and, you know, coming down there, you know, all you have is sort of wide open potential you know and so being down there uh, the last you know four or five years I wasn't at Ozarks but living in the south and helping wrestlers and coaching um, it really got me motivated about hey there's a chance to sort of tick the needle with wrestling the sport that gave me so much and you know um, I love so much to really make an impact and share that with with these young young student athletes um, and that's that's it's exciting I mean I really think that the, the south is gonna continue to improve wrestling wise um, it's you know like I said it's, it's only a sort of wide open space to, to make a make an impact and let have them have a chance to you know reach goals that maybe they didn't think about you know and that's kind of the exciting part so you're down in Arkansas what are the fans of Arkansas like what what are like what describe to me a home a home home duel okay we, we had our first home duel uh, my first of, of my career at Ozarks uh, back in, this, in on December 2nd um, and so one of the unique things we did uh, was I, I paired up with the theater and they came and did like a, 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 a 10 minutes before the uh, before the match did like a little play for 10 minutes and then they did another one intermission so we had a packed gym um, and, I, and I'll say some of it was for wrestling and some of it was for the theater guys but um, the bottom line was they all showed up and showed out to support uh, the student athletes and the, and the students and uh, so as a coach right my first objective is to get you know butts in the seats and then we can teach them about wrestling and teach them what we do after that point but without that I can't I can't share anything of what these guys have worked so hard to show and uh, the guys really showed up we ended up with a tie in that duel against Bacone um, and it came down to the second criteria and so the guys fought put out a good product for the fans and were active and aggressive and going after it and uh, one of my one of my guys he's actually from Iowa he came <laughs> off the mat and he said and he lost he unfortunately he lost the match and the ref uh, and the, the fan one of the fans from our side was like man that was awesome and he said he said I just was like yes and he goes he goes coach this fan just told me it was awesome that I got majored and it's because they don't know but they were fired up about his effort and his yeah. fight and how he went after it and so you know if I can sum up the Arkansas experience as far as fans go they don't they know very little wrestling but they're learning and they want to learn more and uh, but they're excited and they're, they're, they're supportive of, of what we're doing and so it's, it's kind of neat for the guys because like he said he's from Iowa and I don't think he's going to get an awesome job coming off the mat up here getting majored but down there they were super fired up so um, it's been great and the support that we have has been wonderful from the athletic administration to the president to, to the rest of the student body um, and it's it's a credit to the guys uh, because they're out on campus going hey come out to the meet come out to the match you know and, uh, and, and they're sort of the ambassadors you know so it's been great now you got a very young team one junior on the team mostly right. freshmen and sophomores how do, how do you look for leadership among young people like that well I think the you know the, the thing that I tell the guys all the time is you know leadership doesn't necessarily have to come with age right it, it's just who chooses to step up and do the right thing every time all the time and uh, I think that's you know that's what I ask of the guys is you know give me everything you got every time all the time and now that might look different the week of finals but it's still everything you got and I think the guys that choose to accept that responsibility say I'm gonna do everything in my power to help myself uh, have a probability of success because um, I tell them I say guys there's no guarantees in the sport we all know and that's the best part about it is all we have is the work we do and so the guys that accept that responsibility um, are the ones that break out and the other guys see that right they see who's running extra sprints who's doing extra work, who's taking care of it in the classroom and so sooner or later they well man this that that path is a lot better than you know being uncertain, right? Because there's a lot of uncertainty. If you don't give 100, percent you're never you're never sure, right? You're never right. sure of anything. So um, that's kind of the beauty of it. And we've got, we've you know across the board, I think you know there's guys who have accepted that responsibility, not just because they're older, and some of the young guys too have just come in and said, hey, okay, I want to be the best I can be, and whatever that looks like, I want to be the best I can be, and, and other guys see that. So. Appreciate your time, Coach yeah. Gardner. No have worries. A great day. Thank you. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah.